outro cast. A pleasure to be speaking with all of you. I'll mm-hmm. first throw this one at Vanessa. Vanessa, what was your highlight in being part of growing up? Yeah, my highlight was definitely being able to like hear other people's experiences beside my own. I'm really appreciative of all my cast members and being able to have that connection. We became like one big family. And so I was able to learn so many of their stories that I've actually, they gave me so much advice that I've taken on. And as I'm, as I moved on from like filming on the show, we all stayed in contact with each other. And I think it was just like a beautiful thing. That's wonderful because sometimes productions wrap, people lose touch, not you. Well, Amiri, same question at you. Highlight in being part of growing up. I have to agree with Vanessa. I think being able to meet everyone, it, I think that sharing the story was such a highlight, but friendships that I've built with my castmates have been so amazing. I mean, we talk in our group chat on text every single day. We're talking and we're texting since the production. And it's just been so amazing to know that we've all shared our stories together and that we have each other and that no matter what happens, we'll be able to see how everyone benefits from this show and what they think together and as a community and as a group. And that's been such a big highlight for me, having everyone there. Rudy, do you get to be on any fun group chats or is just the production the highlight for you? Uh, I'm not uh, part of anything fun ever. Uh, no, 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 no. We, you know, part of, part of, I'm not in any group chats. You know, we were, the the heroes were all able to get together and sort of do their own thing on a shoot day. We didn't really get to do, especially because we we're shooting during a pandemic, we weren't able to be on other people's sets. So I would have loved to have, you know, been a fly on the wall on some of these other days or when, when they were shooting the other stories, but we unfortunately weren't, weren't allowed to, to do that or weren't able to do that. Equa, does the we apply to you? No fun group chats for you, but still a, a rewarding, wonderful process in being part of growing up? Yeah, no group chats, but definitely been in touch with Vanessa and, you know, we've been able to meet up outside of the production and just sort of keep up with each other's lives and sort of, you know, the continuation, I suppose, of the story. Um, And I know some of the, I mean, these two wonderful directors um, outside of, but I mean, COVID shooting during the pandemic definitely changed the nature of, I think, what the company would have loved us to be able to have at that Mm -hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Elegance, not last, uh, well, last, but definitely not least here. I'm going to throw those questions at you. You know, any fun group chats, highlight, but also, is there anything that we've missed about how special growing up is and was and, you know, this fantastic series? Thank you so much. Um, yeah, in terms of fun group chats, uh, Zooms are not fun. So, <laughs> except for this Zoom. No, um, <laughs> this Zoom was the best Zoom I've ever been on. No, yeah. it, I mean, honestly, the set was really, really fun, right? I didn't get a chance to commune with the directors the way I would have loved, but on set, the producers, the, the production designers, the cinematographer, Christine Ng, shout out. It was just really, really fun. And we've, I'm still collaborating with some of the people on this show who are behind the scenes. They're still my friends. The connection I have with Amiri is really, really special. I feel like, I don't know, I'm just like Amiri's biggest fan. So pretty much I, I'm like the old person on social media, like, you know, puts prayer hands up whenever Amiri does something <laughs> rewarding. And, you know, in terms of, you know, what people are going to miss about this show, I think the most important thing in the time that we live in is for people to understand that they are not powerless to the problems of the world and Mm -hmm. that their emotional health will very much depend on their ability to be vulnerable and to share their story. So I hope that in this run up of of press and as people consume this show, that they walk away with that lesson, that you have it within you to change the world, but all you need is a community to do it from. Wow, I'm not gonna top that. Well, congratulations to all of you for being involved in such a wonderful project and looking forward to what's next. Thank you so much, Darren. Outrocast.